Tu não. Vamos jogar. Isso aí, vê. Não sei. Ninguém bem, So this guy is always reaching out. He's the coolest dude. And this guy is going to get twice as big. He's going to be like approaching four inches. Oh my God, look, little camera hole, look. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at all of these guys. So what are you saying? They're so observant, but they're judging every little movement in the room and they're weighing up the odds of... And they're friendly. They're not skittish. They're not... This guy is enjoying every minute of being on my hand as much as I'm enjoying every minute of him being on my hand. And he'll even reach up, look, watch. Look, see? <laughs> oh, my God. It's like a child at Christmas. He's even reaching up, Dan. <laughs> Okay, little dude. Hang on a minute. Okay. Wanna come up? Don't go in too close. You're on the same. All the same. Come on. Oh. <laughs> 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 Pretty sure something fell. Hey, what's going on? No, I didn't. Oh, that scared me. Then. <laughs> there, get in there, get in there. No! Oh.
Mm. I don't know about that. I don't know. Can we get this off, man? Can we get it off? Look, come on. It's alright, come on. Come on. Okay, come Sophie, man. I know. I know. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, buddy. Come on. It's far too big. Well, okay, well, well, okay. That's far too big. It's not going to deal with that. Look, come on. And you grabbed it by the head. You need to see the head. Come on. Okay guys, so what we've done as you've seen in the last clip, he's eating, he is trying. I'm not confident he's gonna make it at all. You know, I'm not gonna So we've taken off a leg that was pretty much tied in a knot and dead. Um he's still going, he's still trying to fight. The the wings are just completely messed up and twisted, as you can see here. There's like if he gets through this, I don't think he's going to. But if he does in the in the next molt and the molt after, then that's going to be some story. Um, he's still kicking, and it's so sad because we can't kind of figure out how else to help him. So I'm now going to go into the new enclosure because. I can't sit, in, sit him on the kitchen roll for a day because he's not going to pull out that. He needs to be anchored upside down to pull out the rest of it. ICU for a spider is not recommended, and I hate it. But ICU for one of these guys, definitely not. Um, these guys need to hang upside down to malt. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of that. This, all oh, right, okay, so he's dropped, right, I've dropped his worm. So I'll, I'll get that back to him. So I need to put them in here. Look, what I've done with this enclosure is I've got lots of leaves. I've got a faux cactus, so it's not a real cactus, but it's got lots of anchor points on it more predominantly. It's plastic and it's not real. But what he can do now, as you can see, I've got some sphagnum moss filling up and it's nice green moss. All I can hope for now, and as you can see, he's fighting. It, and he sucks this worm dry. Look, look at that worm. Do you remember what it looked like before? So he's eaten. Believe me, he's eaten. Um, I will drop it in there. I mean, I can drop it literally there and he can finish it. That's right in front of him. There's lots of sphagnum moss filling in the holes. I've even drawn some string, some of the uh, leaf string across so that he's got loads of anchor points. So there's very little chance of him falling down. Because if he does fall down... 
Unfortunately, that will 100% be the end. We've already rescued him from this twice, uh, hence why we've changed from, you know, his, his great setup to just one full of, uh, you know, branches all the way down. There's no reason for him at any point now to end up being so ill that he hits the ground. What else do we do for him? I genuinely don't know what else we can do for him. Uh, we've tried everything. Um, at the end of the day, we'll see how he gets on. We're not going to know for a couple of days, so it won't be in this video. Um, and if he makes it through it, then, then that will be a video, won't it? Uh, so yeah, as you can see, look, he's twitching away. It's so sad. But what more can you do? There is no veterinary surgery anywhere within about 30 miles of me, probably 300 miles of me, that is going to tell me uh, or medicate a ghost mantis that is an inch and a half big. <laughs> it just isn't going to happen. Um, that's all I can say. Right, so anyway, right, this is what we're kind of dealing with uh, today and yesterday. So, if you've been through it before, I would love to hear your comments because, of course, these things happen. And if anyone's got any insights into, well, we know how to avoid it, obviously, because, you know, humidity and so forth. But the humidity has been good, so yeah, maybe it's just one of those things. Uh, it's just sad. It's just sad. So anyway, if you've got something to say that you think is going to be beneficial, drop it straight down in the comments. Tell me if you've been through this before, how you got through it, whether you got through it, um, and whether your mantis survived, or it was just inevitable. But you can't say that we haven't tried everything. I mean... I haven't done anything that delicate since I used to play Operation as a kid and that went wrong most of the times as well. Uh, so yeah. Well, day four into this, um, since this video has been posted, but I'm gonna upload it shortly. So today is today. He is still alive. He's uh, struggling like, um, hand fell him again today. I'm still not confident. I'm not gonna lie, I'm still not confident at all. But um, if I don't try, you know, to save this little guy, what do you do, you know? What do you do? Uh, you do what you can. Right, I'm gonna sign off now, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, and please feel free to drop in the comments in a day or two from this video and say how is he and I'll either say A or B but just you know if you're going to keep uh, exotics be prepared for the homework and be prepared for the uh, extra hours you've got to put in because you've got to fucking give these guys a fine chance. Come on.